The film begins in a desert in Spain. At that time, there's a woman named Victoria, who was the most powerful leader of a group of criminals, also known as a mafia boss. Victoria is dealing with a situation where she is punishing three hired killers from Australia for trespassing into her territory. When it comes to executing the last assassin, he fights back unexpectedly and manages to escape. He then seeks refuge in a nearby bar situated in the desert. This fugitive assassin goes by the name Snag. Once inside the bar, Snag orders a drink from the bartender. Meanwhile, the bartender receives a phone call. To his surprise, it's Victoria on the line. It turns out that Victoria owns the bar, and she instructs the bartender to eliminate individuals who fit the description of having fair skin, blue eyes, and wearing beach attire. The bartender assures Victoria that if such a person is present in the bar, he will take care of them promptly. Once the call ended, a fight erupted between them. Witnessing Snag's bravery, a woman who was present was impressed by his actions. Even when Snag was trapped and thrown in front of her, the woman handed him a knife and encouraged him. However, Snag was outnumbered and couldn't defend himself. Soon after, the bartender appeared with a gun, ready to harm Snag, but the woman fired her gun into the air and ordered everyone to stay away from Snag. Everyone in the bar respected the woman because she turned out to be Victoria's daughter. The woman, whose name was Valentina, then took Snag away in her car. Along the way, Valentina expressed her admiration for Snag's courage. Snag, in turn, confessed that he was also captivated by Valentina's bravery and beauty, hinting that they were falling in love. In the following days, Snag and Valentina were officially dating. He even got Valentina's name tattooed on his finger as a symbol of his love for her. Valentina smiled happily at this gesture. The next day, while they were together, Valentina expressed her desire to introduce Snag to her mother, Victoria, and seek her approval. At that time, Valentina wanted to take their relationship to the next level and talked about marriage. Snag, despite being on the run because he had killed people in Victoria's territory, assured Valentina that he was willing to do anything for her, even if it meant risking his life. Hearing that, Valentina was overjoyed by his commitment, and they continued their romance. The following day, Valentina was seen talking with Victoria, accompanied by Snag. There, Snag apologized to Victoria if his actions had harmed anyone in her territory, explaining that it was just part of his job. He then asked for her blessing to marry Valentina because he truly loved her. However, Victoria wasn't pleased with the idea of her daughter being with an assassin, knowing it could put Valentina in danger. However, not wanting to break her daughter's heart, Victoria reluctantly gave her blessing under the condition that Snag would serve her for the rest of his life. Hearing that, Snag agreed, and from that moment on, they were at peace. The next day, Snag started serving Victoria by confronting her business rival. He managed to overpower the rival's mafia boss and seize all his money, even though he was alone. Snag then instructed the mafia boss men to hand over the money. Afterward, he hurried to escape, and outside, Valentina was waiting for him. As they drove away, Snag and Valentina celebrated their success in taking the rival mafia boss's money. But suddenly, their car came under gunfire. They realized it was an attack from the rival mafia boss's men who were still pursuing them. At that time, Snag was injured and lost consciousness, so Valentina quickly hid him in the bushes. However, the rival mafia boss's men found them, forcing Valentina to fight back. Despite being outnumbered, she managed to defeat them all on her own. A few days later, Victoria appeared with Valentina and Snag. She taught Valentina how to torture people who betray them. She demonstrated her cruelty by torturing someone and then leaving them stranded in the desert. Two weeks later, Snag continued to work for Victoria by getting rid of her business rivals and seizing their money. After completing his task, he headed to Victoria's car, where she had been waiting for him. Despite being injured, he handed over all the stolen money to Victoria. However, she surprised Snag by pulling out a gun and revealing that she didn't actually approve of Valentina marrying him. She threatened Snag to leave if he didn't want to face dire consequences. At that time, Snag couldn't accept this because he had been loyal to Victoria all along. 
It became clear that she was only pretending because she didn't want to hurt her daughter. There she gave Snag one day to leave without Valentina knowing. If he disobeyed, Victoria warned, he would not survive. The next day, Snag bravely went to Valentina and confessed everything. He expressed his plan to take Valentina away and promised to deal with anyone who tried to stop them. Hearing that Valentina agreed, suggesting they should get married first in the middle of the desert before leaving the country. With little time left, Snag agreed to Valentina's request, and they decided to get married that day. A few hours later, Snag and a priest were waiting for Valentina to arrive in the middle of the desert, ready to exchange vows and get married. Valentina appeared, looking as if she had just finished dressing up, but she was stopped by Victoria. At that time, Valentina pleaded with her mother to let her marry Snag because she truly loved him, but Victoria remained adamant. In desperation, Valentina ran away. But then, Victoria had sent four of her men to disrupt the wedding, and they immediately opened fire, injuring Snag and killing the priest. Fortunately, Snag survived, but the priest didn't make it. Meanwhile, Valentina ran as fast as she could into the desert to reach Snag, but Victoria's men continued to shoot at her until she fell victim to their bullets. Witnessing this tragedy, Snag could only weep, shocked by the sudden loss of the woman he loved. Before leaving, he kissed Valentina on the forehead and then fled from the scene. Four years later, Snag is living alone on the beach, still unable to forget Valentina, who remains close to his heart. He has chosen to leave behind his life as an assassin and live a more ordinary life. One day, Snag visits a cafe to relax, owned by his friends Javi and his older sister Anna. They seem to have a strong bond, as Snag has only been close to them so far. The following day, Snag wakes up to find an armed man outside his house, seemingly intending to enter. Suddenly, a fight breaks out between them, but they soon realize they know each other. The man turns out to be Marco, a friend from Snag's past, who was also an assassin. After laughing off the misunderstanding, they sit down to talk while admiring the view of the beach. Marco reveals that he came to inform Snag that Valentina is actually still alive after all this time. Turns out Valentina had been hidden by Victoria, and Snag had to be cautious because Victoria was still targeting him. Upon hearing that, Snag couldn't believe it because he thought Valentina had died in his arms. Soon after, Marco showed Snag a photo he had secretly obtained of Valentina and informed him that she was still alive. However, she was being closely guarded by Victoria and her men. Overwhelmed with emotion, Snag promised to bring Valentina back, no matter the risks. There, Marco offered to accompany him, but they needed two more people and proper weapons. The scene shifted to Snag's friends, Javi and Anna, who were at their cafe, casually handling their daily tasks. Shortly after, Snag called Javi, asking him and Anna to come to his house immediately. At that time, he needed their help to rescue Valentina from Victoria's tight grip. As true friends, Javi agreed without hesitation and quickly brought Anna along to Snag's house. Upon arrival, Snag immediately ushered Marco into Javi's car, signaling the start of their mission. En route, Snag briefed them on the plan they would head to Victoria's headquarters to rescue Valentina. So Marco would lead the way since he knew Victoria's current whereabouts. Before reaching Victoria's place, they needed to stop at Snag's friend place named Diego to collect weapons. After retiring from his assassin days, Snag had entrusted his arsenal to Diego. Upon arrival, Snag went straight inside, surprising Diego, who had believed Snag to be dead all this time. There, Diego informed Snag that Victoria was still hunting him and had hired the best assassin to eliminate him. Thankfully, Snag had been hiding in a secure location, making it hard for anyone to locate him. Then, Snag requested his weapons as they were about to confront Victoria and her men to rescue Valentina. Soon after, Diego swiftly escorted Snag to his weapon stash, where Snag found his arsenal well-maintained and ready for use. Returning to the car, Snag was startled to find Anna and backslash Diego's younger brother held at gunpoint by two robbers, demanding their belongings. Suddenly, they were ambushed by a female assassin named Perry, hired by Victoria to track down Snag. 
Soon after, a shootout ensued. Amidst the chaos, Diego urged Snag and his friends to flee while he confronted Perry. Eventually, they managed to escape, and Diego successfully shoot Perry. However, Perry, wearing a bulletproof vest, rose again and resumed her pursuit of Snag, as he was her primary target, not Diego. A few minutes later, Snag and his friends were still traveling. Javi suggested they take a break at his grandfather's house nearby. Initially hesitant due to the possibility of Perry still pursuing them, Snag eventually agreed after Javi assured him the house was well hidden and safe from detection. Upon arrival, Javi instructed Marco and Anna to check the lighting generator in the next room while he and Snag waited in the living room. Javi suggested they spend the night and resume their journey in the morning since it was getting late. In the generator room, Marco and Anna struggled to start the machine as it hadn't been used in a while. Suddenly, Marco heard the sound of approaching vehicles. Peeking outside, he spotted Perry and her troops. At the same time, Snag also noticed Perry's arrival and was puzzled as to how she had found their location. Now, Snag finds himself in a fierce battle against Perry and her men. Amidst the chaos, Marco engages in a duel with Perry. However, just as Marco gains the upper hand, he is unexpectedly shot in the back. Shockingly, it's revealed that Anna has been a spy for Victoria all along, assigned to keep an eye on Snag. Despite the betrayal, he continues to fight Perry's men until he defeats them all. Tragically, Javi becomes a casualty of the conflict, getting a gunshot wound to the stomach. Shortly after, Anna approaches Snag and hands him a phone. It's Victoria on the line bidding farewell to Snag. There, Victoria praises Snag's resilience, acknowledging his difficulty to defeat. She asserts that Snag and Valentina will never be together, even though Valentina now has a daughter with Snag. Victoria vows never to reveal the identity of the father to her granddaughter, as she harbors strong dislike towards Snag. Overwhelmed with emotions, Snag breaks down in tears upon learning he has a daughter and feeling like a failure for not being able to reunite with Valentina. After the call ends, Anna apologizes for her actions, revealing that she did it to settle her family's debt to Victoria. She then shoots a bullet in front of Snag. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is don't marry into a family where meet the parents includes shooting bullets. Just stick to Tinder for safer romantic endeavors.